Retail sales in the UK surged by more than 9% in April. Consumers are splashing some of the savings they made over the pandemic. Well, let's discuss this with Patrick O'Brien, UK Research Director at the analytics company Global Data. Great to have you with us on the programme today. Thank you for joining us. So looking at these figures, they suggest that retail sales are now ahead of pre-pandemic levels. Is this just how much we've all missed shopping? Oh, yes, to a certain extent, although it's very hard to read too much into to the data so far. We've only got uh, April sales to go on. And of course, only part of, uh, of, of April where all uh, non-essential retail stores allowed to open. So it's hard to really disseminate from this data how much of it is a, a surge of, uh, of spend from, from shoppers that haven't been able to shop at those stores. Uh, and how much of that is going to is it really an indicator of how things will be May, June, July? And within the numbers, the high street performance as well as online was particularly strong. So, do you think the reports about the death of the high streets have been premature? Well, I don't think there's enough to go on to say that just just yet, because there are a lot of difficulties uh, that physical retail is going to be coming up against in the months to come. Well, one. Uh, but first of all, we have that, that, that April was really there's pent up demand being being unleashed. That's going to run out. Secondly, an awful lot of uh, stores haven't had to pay uh, rent. Rent's been building up, but there's been a moratorium on landlords being able to foreclose on retailers. And therefore, um, when that expires at the end of June, there could be a lot of retailers that decide that maybe there isn't enough of a rebound in sales to make those stores viable again. We're really going to have to wait and see on this. What about online, though? Plenty of people went online during lockdowns. What do you see of the future for that sector? Well, it's interesting because although uh, there was some positive news in this data regards uh, physical retail stores, when we look at online, online grew 25% in April on last April. Uh, so it really is showing that there's an awful lot of that online spend is going to stay online. We can see from the ONS figures that they're now saying that almost 30% of all sales were online. Now, pre-pandemic, the ONS were reporting at somewhere in the region of 20%. So even now, we haven't seen that kind of that, that uh, return back to physical retail. Online is still dominant uh, and, uh, and, and will be become more dominant as the months fall on, I think. So how much is all of this spending a good sign for consumer confidence and the wider UK economy? I think it's very positive so far, but it's, it's very early. There's an awful lot that's going to have to map out when the furlough scheme starts to run out, etc. Uh, unemployment will start to rise again, and maybe that, um, that confidence uh, is, is, is going to get eroded. But at the moment, we're in a reasonably good place, and there are definitely uh, reasons for optimism. We're certainly seeing in the home sectors... Uh, there's a real a bounce there where people are spending a lot on DIY furniture and the like. And as we're seeing now, there's going to be less of an emphasis on spending on international holidays this summer. And people are going probably to invest in their homes as they did last year. And you, you did just allude to this. Some challenges ahead for retailers, uh, government schemes helping out during the pandemic due to come to an end in the near future. Yes, that's right, and uh, we're going to have to see how that um, uh, how that pans out. Of course, there may be other other things that the government puts in place, uh, whether for uh, individuals or for uh, businesses themselves, the retailers. Um, there might be more help along the way, but uh, obviously there are there are going to be uh, problems. Patrick O'Brien from Global Data, thanks very much indeed for joining us on the program today.